Hey there, welcome back to another step-by-step -step automation tutorial video. If you don't know who I am already, my name is Ali Automates and I teach people how to build simple automations that solve real world problems. And today I wanted to ask you a simple question. Have you ever ran into the issue of uploading one social media post to a bunch of different social media platforms and you found it either A, incredibly time consuming or B, incredibly repetitive and boring? Well, if you said yes to both of those questions, you're in luck because today we're going to go over how to build this simple NA10 auto poster. In a nutshell, all it does is it takes one video and uploads it to seven different social media platforms. So you're able to gain seven times the reach from one post without actually having to manually do anything. This takes care of the whole posting process. Now to actually upload these videos to your social media profiles, we're going to be using a tool called Upload Post. As you can see, all the supported social media platforms are right here and it can directly integrate with NA10, which is just fantastic. So if we go to the actual automation, you can see that it is a node. Also, if you wanted the ready to use blueprint for this NA10 auto poster right here, you can just head over to the link in the description and join my school community where we provide all the ready to use automation blueprints for each tutorial. So you can literally head over to the A11 auto poster lesson right here, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll find the NA10 auto poster blueprint, which you can just download. Then if you go into NA10, click the three dots, then, then go to NA10, click the three dots in the top right, press import from file. And then simply select that file and boom it will literally be a carbon copy of what i've already built for you and it also has all the correct settings for each node so all you have to do is just change the credentials so yeah let's just dive straight into today's tutorial and by the way before we do anything we actually need to set up the google spreadsheet with all of our videos to post it is very very simple you just need a video url column video caption column and the status column as well so the workflow can track which videos have been posted and which haven't by the way if you head over to the community the google sheets template is going to be in the resources section so you can go ahead and copy that straight away but if you're not in the community just simply copy on what's on the screen so go ahead and fill in these columns with all of your videos all of the captions to the videos and just make sure that the status is a drop down and it has three options to post posted and skip. The option skip is so that you can manually just skip videos that you don't want to post on that day. Um, and then the automation will not post that video. And then once you've added all of your videos, you simply just copy and paste this option right here for each video and they will have a status. Okay, so now that you have your Google Sheet ready and set up, we can now move on to the fun part, which is actually building the workflow. So the first step is going to be the on a schedule node. Now this node is going to trigger the workflow at a certain time every single day. And this is going to be the times where it's going to be posting your video. So I post my video every day at 6 p.m. to all of my social media profiles. So I want the workflow to run every day at 6 p.m. in the trigger at hour section. Let's say I wanted to post twice a day now, uh, when it's 6 p.m., uh, 6 a.m., sorry, uh, I would select 6 a.m. Now, let's say three times a day, I do this the exact same thing. So you get the point. You can basically post as many times as you want a day, but for now, I just want to post every day at 6 p.m. So now that you've set up the schedule, the next thing that we need to do is check Google Sheets for all the posts that have the status to post. So the ones that haven't been posted yet. And we need to grab one at a time. So if we head back to the workflow, we can add another node and search up Google Sheet. There we go. And we need to get the rows in a sheet. Now you are going to need to connect your Google Sheets account, um, but don't worry, I'm going to take you step by step exactly how to retrieve all the correct credentials that you need. So yeah, just press create new credential. And you're going to see that you need the authorization URL, access token URL, the client ID, and the client secret. Now, these two URLs um, is the same for everyone. So if you're already in my community, just head over to the description and paste in these two URLs. Um, if you're not, just copy what's on the screen. 
Now the thing that you need to retrieve is the client ID and the client secret. To get these, head over to cloud.google.com and head over to your console section. Once you're in the console section, head over to the navigation menu and then go to APIs and services and click on credentials. Next, press create credential and then we need to create an OAuth client ID. Now for the application type, select web application and then set the name to whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to put NA10 because we need to connect it to NA10. And then here you're going to see the authorized redirect URIs. You're going to add a URI. You're going to head back to NA10 and you're going to simply scroll up a bit and you'll see this OAuth redirect URL. They make it as easy as possible and they provide you this information. So go ahead and paste it into there and press create. Now you're going to get a client ID and a client secret which you can simply copy and paste into your NA10 account. It's very, very simple. And the last thing you need to do is sign in with Google. But once you've done that, it's gonna say connection successful. You can head back and it's gonna say account connected. Now, one thing that you do need to make sure of is when you head into your client ID for web like Now, one thing that you do need to make sure of when you head over to your OAuth client ID is when you go to the audience, it's set to in production. If it's in testing, it will not work. Anyways, now that you've connected your account, you're gonna notice that you can actually select documents now, which is really nice. So we just need to select this document right here, which is the videos to upload. So just select that document and then select the sheet, sheet one. So it's gonna be whatever the name of the sheet is. Most likely it's gonna be by default sheet one. And then for the filters, we need to grab all the videos that have the status set to to post. And we do this by selecting the column status and then the value as to post. And this way, it's only going to give us all the rows that have the status set to to post. So if they've already posted, it's not actually going to get that row. Now, if we execute this step right here, you can see that it's giving us two items. Now, we don't want two videos being posted at once at the exact same time. We want to have one result at a time. So we can go ahead and press add option and then press return only first matching row. And this is going to allow it to basically return one result at a time. So if we press execute step, it's only going to give us row number two. Now, let's say row number two is then posted we can now execute this step again, and it gives us you know, row number three. Unlike this, it's gonna go through each video one by one. So yeah, now that we have the tracking system completely automated and complete, we can now move on to the next step, which is actually posting the videos to all of your social media profiles. And as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna be using a tool called Upload Post. So if you haven't created your account yet, go ahead and click the link in the description and you can create an account there. And also you're gonna get a free trial if you sign up with the link below. You go ahead and do that and head over to your dashboard. Now, the first thing you need to do is actually connect your social media profiles. And to do this, it's very, very simple. You head over to the manage users tab and where it says add new user, you're just gonna enter your username. So mine is Ali Automates. And uh, let's say yours was test, for example. You now have to connect all of your social media profiles and it's basically going to link to this profile and to connect your social media profiles is very very simple all you have to do is press on the platform you want to connect and if you're not already logged into that platform it's going to tell you to log into that platform and um, yeah it's going to connect it to this account now once you've connected all the platforms that you want to post on you simply head over to the api keys section and you do need to generate a new key so you can connect it to na10 so i'm going to generate a new api key and then I'm going to actually head into NA10 because now we can carry on with building the workflow. So we're just going to add a new node and you just have to search up the upload post node. And as you can see, it's literally directly integrated into NA10. It's verified even. Um, so you're going to select it and you're going to press the upload a video node. And then the user identifier is that username that I was talking about earlier. So it's your profile name you created in your uploadpost.com account. So if you head over to manage users, you'll see your profile name. So this is mine and you can paste it in there. And now you can just select the platform that you want to post on. So say I wanted to post on TikTok, I'd select TikTok. So before we can actually do these variables, make sure that you run the Google Sheets module right here so you can get these variables. 
to make sure you just press run and it's going to be able to fetch those variables to make our job a little bit easier so for the title it needs to be the video caption and then for the caption it needs to be the video caption and then for the video file or url it needs to be the video url so this is going to be the download url of your video everything else is optional make sure that it's public to everyone so that's it for tiktok now let's move on to instagram so you're literally going to select the platform here again and it's going to use all of these existing settings but if you scroll down you'll notice we have more settings right here so first of all we need to make sure that the instagram media type is set to reels a video and then just make sure this is toggled on share to feed and you don't need to do any more things this is all optional and by the way if you haven't noticed yet it doesn't really look like the workflow that i showcased earlier i built it like this so i can show you the platforms that you can post on um, to make sure you can see what's happening a bit more clearly but i promise it's doing the exact same thing just all in one node now the next platform is going to be youtube so you're just going to select youtube down here just make sure the youtube privacy status is set to public and you don't have to worry about anything else now next up is facebook and you do need to have a facebook page id for this so make sure you have created a facebook page and once you have you just have to head over to your page and then if you see in the url right here you're going to see some digits and that is actually the facebook page id so you can go ahead copy and paste that into this field so next up is going to be twitter now for twitter you don't have to add anything else now let's do linkedin now you just need to make sure the linkedin visibility is set to public if you want to post it to a linkedin page just put the page id inside of here but i just want to post it to my personal account so i'm not going to put anything in this field and then the last platform that we're going to post on is threads and with threads you don't have to change absolutely anything there's literally only field that you can change which is the threads video description and we're using the title so it's just going to use the title instead um, so yeah that is literally all you have to do when it comes to posting to your social media profiles now the last step that we need to do is actually set the video status to posted after we have posted to our seven different social media platforms. So let's add another node and search up Google Sheets over here. And then we need to select update row in sheet, select that Google Sheet right here, and then select the page. And now what we need to do is we need to go to the column to match on, and then row number, because we wanna be updating the right row each time. And you can see now we have the row number field. Um, so we need to remove the upload post node from the workflow so that we can just execute this real quick. And so as you can see here, it fetches the row number three because that hasn't been posted already. This one has. And then we can basically tell this node to update row number three to posted once it has posted the videos. So as you can see, it says row number three, and then we can select it here. So it references the right row, and then we can set the status to posted. So now it's gonna update row number three to posted once it's ran the workflow. So let's just test our theory out. And boom, you can see the status is set to posted. It works perfectly fine. So yeah, we can now add this back in, um, connect it up. And boom, I mean, congrats if you've made it this far because you've just set up a simple four node workflow, which now posts to seven different social media profiles, basically seven Xing your views, save you a bunch of time having to manually post these videos to your social media platforms and generating you more money. And make sure you actually activate the workflow once you've tested that it actually works. So go ahead and press activate and then press got it. And now it's going to run in the background um, on your NA10 and post for you every single day. I really, really hope you liked this video. If you did, just go ahead, like and subscribe. And if you ran into any issues, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. And me or somebody else will reply to you ASAP. But yeah, once again, if you wanted the ready to use blueprint for this tutorial, just go ahead and click the first link in the description. When you join my school community, you're going to get a bunch of step-by-step -step courses suitable for any experience level. So yeah, keep automating, keep building, and I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.